Hey guys, this is our review for the second Friday the 13th movie, Friday the 13th part two. <laughs> part two. That's how it happens in the movie, it actually, like, the title explodes. I think that becomes a regular thing. <laughs> This one actually does a few things better, a few things the same. Um, the thing that I will say that it kind of surprised me with is the first full six minutes are literally just recaps. Yeah, it's previously <laughs> on Friday the 13th. And it's like straight six <laughs> minutes with her like having this dream. It was like a walking shot and then a couple dreams of uh, Adrian King. Oh, yeah. Um, dreaming, which they brought her back, which is nice. Uh, we yeah. get a little tag on uh, that's two months later that I'm not sure, I think is whatever, two months later. That. And then like the rest of the movie jumps to five years. So I'm not sure it really mattered. Yeah. So apparently like, this movie takes place in the future. Yeah. Shot in 1981, and theoretically set in 1984. And they're playing those... They do have video games from like the late seventies. Yeah, not Game Boys, but <laughs> man, pre Game Boy Game Boys. <laughs> what happens is the survivor from the first one, unnameable character number four hundred. Oh, Might be else. I'm not even gonna bother. <laughs> she actually has this really long build up to her, and you're kind of wondering what's going on because that was something that was a trait of the first film was those really long shots that meant nothing. Like doing all these things, and you think something's gonna happen, and then eventually, all of a sudden, she gets a fucking screwdriver in the head after finding Jason's mom's head in the fridge. And that was a pretty cool part. And they actually do do a few things. Yeah, it's good. It's a good grab, and then just. It's a good effect. They do. Might have been Stan Winston. I'll say that. Stan Winston started the effects on this, and then Carl Fullerton finished them. What the point of the story is, is apparently it's in the future. <laughs> There's these camp councils that are apparently at a seminar thingy learning how to be good counselors but they're still fucking horny as shit and again there's no kids as, around as you there's would. no kids around no, there's still not really kids. Can't, and jason can't kill kids it's still it's at, too far it's still at the lake it's not near the camp it's at the lake and anyways we get introduced to all these n new red shirts and what we find out is that jason is killing them off but it's never explained at all. And apparently, oh. Tom Zavini yeah, was, was fucking Tom, pissed he about made, that. He made a joke about what this weirdo's been living off like crayfish for 35 years in the woods and no one saw him. He seems to love his mom, like he worships her severed yeah. head, but he never like tried to contact well, her. that's the thing too, is I, yeah, I was under the impression that Jason was dead. He had come back from the dead, like, I don't know, his mother being killed had... He'd really been a monster, like some mutant monster creature in the water. But then it's like, no, no, he's actually apparently been alive he's the like whole a dude with fucking jean, time. Jeans and a bag for him. And he's got like he's got side. a shitter in this weird ass little cabin thing. So, looks like something that'll fall out. That just ruined that for me. It's it, it takes that, away, but I mean, uh, it, it ruins it ruins the Jason aspect in terms of him being oh, like this. Is he going to become this undead? Well, especially creature? since I, I totally forgot that um, he doesn't die at the end of this movie and uh like he dies later on like they do stuff to kill him later and things happen to him and you know it's the he keeps coming back because he's some kind of monster but he doesn't really die at the end of this one so like no he's he not didn't. inhuman yet and well, it kind of all didn't die either yeah whatever it happened well apparently it was good yeah this movie boasts one of the worst um in my opinion one of the worst endings ever basically we see they like run away from the severed head and Jason with the machete in his neck He's and then like down he, the they do like gear. a cool thing where like they fake you out where the dog comes through the door and you're like yeah. oh it's totally and then he jumps through the glass and it's and, a cool moment but then but he jumps then through the glass and grabs her and there's slow motion screaming so long. and then she's just getting loaded in the back of the ambulance and you're and like, like where's oh, Paul what the where's fuck Paul? just happened and then like, it cuts to Jason's mother's head and you totally expect it to open up its eyes because it was going to but it probably was it's going. this like slow track and then it freeze frames terribly and I remember the very first time I ever saw the movie was like they cut that because their eyes were going to open they decided not to later on instead of reshooting it and yeah. filmically doing it nicely they just paused the fucking shot there's a few moments actually where there's times you're watching and I was yelling focus focus yeah because the camera works not great no the, the director it, uh, I guess I could say is Steve Miner who uh, directs the third one as well, but went on to, he did like Forever Young with Mel Gibson, he did uh, Halloween H2O, which some people like. I bad. actually think this Directed. one has a better focus than the other ones. There are Just a lot of focus. Well, except, <laughs> like, except, 
the, aside from the bad focus, uh, that's just the focus pull not doing his job. <laughs> but the actual setups of certain scenes, there's actually focus to it in terms of where the horror is and what it's, is a, it's, the build up. There's, of, there's some good well build ups. I like this. There's movie. a part it's where fun. what's her name main character two hundred four. How do you forget Jenny? Jenny. 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 She, she's hiding from Paul because she's inept to be able to help Paul and she's holding the door and she's going for the window and you know something's going to happen but you don't know exactly when and even though you know it's going to happen when Jason smashes the glass it's still actually a bit of a whew, it's a bit of a scare there are a few moments like that there's far more moments I find that are they build up but they don't build up to be like alright just get it over with like in the first one this one actually has focus to its horror, and I feel that the suspense is better in this one, definitely, than the first one. Hard to Yeah, the old guy gets... And I'm like, I'm like, he goes and hides behind a tree, that obviously Jason is literally just hiding over. <laughs> Jason's standing there looking the same way, creeping out, and the guy feels them, oh, I'm gonna garrot this guy. And actually, there's a few things that are quite funny, like, instant, when you see all the cam counselors, you're just like, okay, which one's gonna die? And you see the one in the wheelchair, and I was like, he's fucking dead. I they, they make you feel for him. They're like they have this whole they have this whole scene where he talks to him. He's like, "Yeah, I got this motorcycle accident. The doctor says I'll never walk again, but I'm not going to die in this chair." <laughs> like three minutes later, just machete in the face. <laughs> and I wish the shot was long. Like we we make fun of the long shots in the first one. Oh, then, but I wish the shot of him going down the stairs was longer. And then it just like it stops and it zooms in and with the white to white. The fade like, to what white the in, fuck in was, these movies. The uh, fuck was that? It was it was hilarious though. You were making fun of the shot because it's it's a dead on shot and then it's like exact reverse one eighty. Oh, yeah. So you know like they try you to get, fake you out that Jason's walking up behind him and then they like, show how? the like they and show then, the one eighty reverse. Yeah, apparently this guy yeah. has literally But then like, he just comes in from the side and just like Yeah, apparently not only was he paralyzed in his legs. He was paralyzed in his peripheral, peripheral vision. vision. There's like 13 or 14 camp counselors at one point, but most of them go drinking and just kind of go yeah, away. This... Um, this body count is actually if you... less. Yeah. Same number of counselors die as the first but one. There's but there's way more you but thought we don't were kill, going to die. We don't kill... Um, he doesn't kill all of them. So there's no 10th there's no no. victim. He doesn't um, kill all of them. The wheelchair guy is great. Um, I wish we could see the double spear, but yeah, there's a you whole just, bunch you, of problems you, with that scene. Like, Google it. It's a cool death. He spears through both of them. They follow that one up later in the series, which I will talk about when it gets to it, uh, with another double impale death. Like, yeah. Jason seems to have a... He likes to kill people a certain yeah. way. You can watch it and you're not as bored as the first one. It's, it's but fun. it doesn't have that strong point like it did when Jason's mother appeared in the first one. But in terms of just a watchable slide, I don't know if I'm going to be able to like... To, I think the wheelchair guy is the only thing that's going to be like, Hey, remember Friday 13th wheelchair edition? Yeah. That's probably going to be the way I'll remember this one. Um, but... <laughs> Finally, we're gonna get his hockey mask in the third. Yeah, one. he gets the mask in the third yeah, one. Yeah, that's what he's just wearing. I do believe the third one's the three D one as well. A lot of this kind of jokes, and <laughs> <laughs> but as an overall film, it's still not like a like I'm still like every time we watch it, I'm comparing what I thought of the first one, and then I'm also going back and thinking about what we did with the Friday movies. Nightmare so, movies. Nightmare movies. Yeah. In terms of what I feel of this film, it's still going to get the same rating as I gave the first one, which is a 3 out of 7. Because I feel that that's what it is. It has some good moments, but you just don't give a shit about anyone. <laughs> if, if if we're allowed to do half ratings, I'd say a 3.5. Because this movie isn't good or bad for me. It's kind of fun. It's super forgettable. But it's kind of one of the... Like, I mean, the last movie killed a bunch of people that we didn't really care about. But I actually like, don't remember I feel like the I feel like one. this movie, because it's Jason, and we finally have Jason, this whole series is about Jason murdering people. Yeah. Like, it's just, like, the, the we're on the train, the, like, the horror movie train where, like, they scare you every now and again. Like, no one gives a shit about the middle ground. It's just, like, they're just vehicles to get to the next death. And, uh, like, the deaths were kind of interesting, and I didn't mind them. They're kind of fun, and, like... Watching Jason looking like the killer from the town that dreaded sundown is weird. Oh yeah, that's that's what this movie is. He's got a bag head. It's basically yeah. It's, so it is. and there's like the town that dreaded sundown is probably better, uh, not the remake, the original. And uh, the movie, the like short film Baghead by the guy that did Turbo Kid is also a better Baghead. Oh, so um, Baghead, yeah. So yeah, oh, once he gets his mask, great. I'm more into it. Um, 
If you haven't fucking watched Baghead, Baghead Google is, Baghead it, it, by it the is, guy who directed Turbo Kid. It is pretty it's funny. Terrible, stupid bullshit. But like it's holy shit! Like super gore, fun guys. The gore method, budget yeah. in that was <laughs> it's amazing. Just a bunch of friends messing with their gore. Um, which yeah. is again, that's all that these movies are supposed to be. It's just gore and it's fun and it's blood and they have that. So they yeah. got the the nudity with the like never ending short shorts and short shirts and a bunch of good looking dudes with feathered hair and you know that's all it is it's look at these pretty people get murdered by jason there's definitely worse movies in this series i enjoy several films better than this movie yeah so i know it, you don't do half points but 3.5 is where i'm going because i can't say it's not just mediocre so now we're going to move on to number three yeah and we're going to see think this him. one i swear it breaks glass like one of them breaks glass when it comes to i swear I, oh man 3d one makes sense to do that i'm just i'm just seven more of these no oh, yeah. eight more yeah, there's ten total, oh. and the remake. So, <laughs> but they, they, like I said, they get they get. I'm terrible. so I'm just looking like, forward to Jason X. Jason X. <laughs> oh wait, was that, I just do a Wakanda for everything? I think you did. Oh wow, I'm gonna, forever. I'm, oh, I'm gonna get the hate mail now. <laughs> All right, guys, I can't, I'm allowed to do it, so it's okay. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you on the next one.